Hello teachers, today I'm going to show you how to use assistments, which is a quick and easy way to assign some of that Engage New York material without having to pass out all those pieces of paper. So the first thing you want to do is create a free account and once you do, you can go ahead and log in. You'll see a lot of resources, but the one we want is Engage New York. For today's example, we'll be using grade three. And we're going to be pulling from module one. And what I'd like to assign is homework. And I'm going to pull from lesson one. The homework assignment for lesson one in Engage New York is pretty lengthy. Take a look. That's what it would look like as a printed worksheet. If you wanted to select all those problems for the children to do, you just click on select all problems. I don't want to assign all those problems. I just want problem one because I notice problem one is divided up into parts A through U and I think that's enough. So if that's the only problem I want to assign or if you want to select all the problems, then just assign to the Google Classroom. It'll pull up your Google Classroom pages. If this is the first time you've ever been on assessments, you have to go into import and select the Google Classroom that you want to use. Since I've already done that, I'm going to select SWES third grade. I'll click next. You can change the assignment name if you'd like. You can also put a release date and a due date and then assign it. I've already done that, so I'm gonna show you what that looks like in the Google Classroom page. It shows up in the stream, right here, and also under classwork, right here. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the student perspective. When the student opens up the Google Classroom page, in this example, SWES third grade, they'll see the assignment under classwork. When they click on the assignment, they will see this. So they'll need to click on the assessment assignment and that will bring them to this screen where they will have to choose their account. So they're going to click on their name. That will bring them to this screen. They need to allow assessments. So they'll click on the blue button that says allow. If they've never logged into assessments before, they're going to need to create a new account. It's simple. They click the blue button that says create a new account. They go through this one more time where they click their name as their account. And then they allow assessments by clicking the blue button. If they've done this before, they'll go straight to this screen, which is the actual Engage New York assignment. Students will work through problem by problem by putting their answer in the box indicated here by the red arrow and then clicking submit answer indicated here by the green arrow. As they work through the problems on the left side of the screen, it will show them the questions that they got right with a green check and the questions they got wrong with a red X. When they get down to the last question, they'll click finish assignment indicated here by the green arrow. They will be prompted with this that says assignment completed. They can click the exit button and that will bring them to this student report, which shows them the questions that they got right, the questions they got wrong. If they go back to the Google Classroom page, they will notice that the assignment has been turned in, indicated here by the red arrow. On the teacher Google Classroom page, in this example, SWES third grade, you will notice that the student has turned in the assignment indicated here by the red arrow. And that, my friends, is assessments.